All right, guys, today we are flounder jigging out in the ocean last week of March. I'm out here with my buddy, Captain Brad Foxwell. It's Chesapeake Fishing Adventures, right? Yep. He's up from Maryland visiting. We don't know what we're doing, uh, but this is what we got so far. We're doing some of the standard stuff, dropping the high-low rigs with bucktails and gulp, uh, a little other jigging. All right, so we came out here looking for albies today. Uh, that didn't really happen, so we kind of resorted to plan B. Uh, we found some flounder on a couple of these ocean pieces about 10 15 miles out. The thing that's crazy here is we came and found the temperature break, and I think that might have been the biggest factor. We went from like 55 degrees inshore, about 62 degrees out here. Keep in mind, it's our, my first time here. And my first time here. <laughs> and Brad's first time here. So we fished 100% based on intuition. Brad is a four hire guide on the Chesapeake Bay for stripers. What I like about Brad. Uh, tell them a little bit about your striper harvest policy as we enter the, the lean years of striper. So trophy season starts April 20th. However, the policy on the boat uh, that we took on last year was we will not harvest anything over 35 inches, which means we do not participate in trophy season. We can go out and catch them on light tackle, which is all I do, but they all get released. They do not, we do not harvest anything over 35 inches. So uh, trophy season's out and then once the season kicks in, we won't uh, harvest anything over 35. And then in the summertime, if we, anything was caught, nothing gets harvested over 28 inches. So you keep your two fish when it gets to be in season and, and we move on because the, the, the breeders are just too important to our uh, fishery in the bay. Selective harvesting. So um, that's pretty cool. I dig, dig that whole concept, especially as a uh, you know, people are making their own decisions based on what they think the fishery's health is. I'll have links in the video's description. Brad's guide service. You can hit, hit him up on Instagram, etc. So we got like a 25 inch lizard fish. That was interesting. That was a mid 20 inch. There you go. You got your 25 inch lizard. There we go. A lot of head shake on that one. Yeah, I see it. Uh, that's what it is. Got grunts down, bro. We got the big grunt. Pretty fish. We got. Maybe it's a keeper. Yeah, that is. That is actually a keeper. That's a nice. Look at that. Beautiful. That's actually a normal sea bass. 15? 15. 15. Yeah, nice. 70 gulps later. Right. So we're out here jigging some natural reef bottoms and artificial stuff. I haven't experienced what's out here yet, and without a doubt, the bycatch fishery is pretty unique. Uh, there's a mix of some familiar species and some really new stuff I'm not familiar with. Uh, the jigs I'm jig working with here, uh, it's 1.5 ounce squirrel bucktails fishing anywhere from like 60 to 100 feet of water and 4 inch swimming mullets. Uh, 12 inches or so above a bucktail, that's a bait holder hook, a 3.0. Uh, when I'm fishing this deep, I'm preferring to use a 2 hook rig, and especially since I know these gulps aren't going to last long with all the stuff down here um, between trash fish and intended targets, uh, having 2 is going to help me out a little bit. You got a jolt head porgy though. I don't know if that's a jolt head or a... One of those good porgies. Double. A little darkness, my old friends. I'll get you out of here. Ciao. 20 inches? 20, 21? Three pounds. You can keep these guys. I know these are good. Another, another fine eating porgy specimen. interesting down there. It's definitely all sorts of critters. No Whoa! What was that? Get out of here! Oh my lord. You caught a mana shrimp? Holy cow. I've never seen one. Damn, look at his pincers, man. Yeah. We're gonna cut those. Man, too bad I'm leaving the town. I'll do be frying up a shrimp. 
five miles was not too great, but we made it up to 10. And 10 is where there's been some flounder. He's got for us. Man. Easy 20 feet of clarity. How's it going? None. Been look. We looked. Yeah. Okay. I thought. I, I thought that was you. <laughs> What's going on? Nah, don't bother. I would save uh, whatever we're like. Are we right on the mark? Right there. Yeah. There we go. Feels pretty good. Yeah, that looks like there's a big school in there. Flounder. Yeah, I used to make, I'm kind of new to the area. I moved here last April. I've been making soft plastics for about five years. That's a good fit. That's a nice flounder. Yeah. Nice flounder. Might want a net on that. No net. We don't have a net. <laughs> I said I don't have a net though. First one, eighteen. All right. Is that a jolt head? Jolt head. No way. You know what that is? That's my northern scup. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. That's cool. That's the first porgy I've ever caught. Oh, it's a porgy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like the OG porgy. Damn. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. On the trailer or on the. Uh, it's easy. Yeah, that's like a northern porgy. Oh. Put him back. Snuggle up on this right here. There it is. That's something. Different. Short, but always nice to see. Another flounder. So I believe the flounder we're catching out here right now, these are southern flounder. Uh, the minimum size to keep southern flounder in North Carolina is 15 inches. You're allowed four fish per day. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm putting back a lot of these 15 inch and 15 inch and change fish. Um, I'm, I'm hitting the road, so I really don't need the meat. Um, I'm still not 100% sure to tell the difference between a northern flounder and a southern flounder, so uh, you can let me know if you do know. That's a keeper. Might be. Big grunt. Not quite a grunt. It's, <laughs> I got a jolt head porgy on the bottom, which is good eats. We got one good eats, we got one not so good eats. That's a jolt head, knobbed porgy, whatever you want to call him. He's pretty cool. We can keep him. Well, this guy we're going to put back. What on earth is that? Uh, I think they call them sand perch. 
take a look yeah. to him. Real cool. See ya. Probably tastes good, but I'm okay.